French too, I'm going to film a video for you guys in regards to object pronouns, which are what you guys have been working on for the past um, week or two in our Google Classroom. And I wanted to provide some explanation for you. These are harder concepts to learn in French when you don't have your teacher with you. I've made some beautiful handmade slides for you. I'm going to try to show them to you so you can see them without a glare and um, explain at the same time. So here we go. Object pronouns in French. There are two types, direct and indirect. Your direct object pronouns are le, la, les, and le or l apostrophe. Your indirect object pronouns in French are lui and l'air. These guys usually refer to people and they're used with verbs that are done to or for somebody, such as parler to speak, dire to say, or donner to give. Um, you can see here at the bottom, parler and dire. You um, do not usually use these to replace objects. Direct object pronouns, on the other hand, your le, la, le, el apostrophe, can be used to replace people or objects. These are verbs that are not done to or for people. Aime, I love you, je t'aime, or je l'aime, I love it. Um, so I have some examples of aime and voir are verbs that you would use with the direct object pronoun. In the middle, we have me, te, nu, and vu. These ones can be direct or indirect. If they are indirect, they're referring to people and it's an action done to or for somebody. And if they're direct object pronouns, they are going to fall under the category of not being done to or for somebody. This is where je t'aime comes in. I love you. So you use this one for you. Je t'aime, which means I love you. And it's not being, I know that you love them, but you're not technically doing anything to or for them. Okay, why do we have these in either language? They are to avoid repetition. They exist in our language too. For example, do you see Leah? Yes, I see her. You don't need to repeat the name Leah again. I see her replaces the word Leah. Leah and her are your object pronouns. In this case, it is direct because nothing is done to or for Leah. You can see that clearly there. Um, in French, it would look like, vois-tu, Léa? Oui, je la vois. Yes, I see her. Um, because Léa.